As the country is battling coronavirus, the government has now extended the lockdown, indicating that we have a long fight ahead of us. But there is light at the end of the tunnel, and it's important to highlight that we as a country can emerge from these dark times. Let's show you the example of the state of Kerala, which was the first state to report a case of coronavirus in the country, but has now flattened the curve. How exactly have they done that? Well, a lot of indications are that the state government, the government led by Pinera Vijayan, has been very successful in arresting the spread of coronavirus in the state of Kerala. And that's why at this crucial stage, when we're seeing a spike in cases across the country in the state of Kerala, the number of recoveries actually exceeds the number of active cases of coronavirus. So how exactly has Kerala managed this feat? How have they managed to flatten the curve in the spread of coronavirus. Well, the Pinarayi Vijayan government immediately acted as soon as the first case of coronavirus came to light. A robust response team was put together comprising of 30,000 health workers who worked day in and day out to ensure that they do not allow the coronavirus crisis to go out of hand. We have to also keep in mind that Kerala has a very sound public health care system and that too worked in the state's favour. So let's tell you exactly how Kerala managed to ensure that the number of coronavirus cases do not rise in the state. The first is aggressive testing. Now the state government ensured that they put up testing points across the state, particularly at the district level, at the local level, so that anyone who travelled abroad or had any travel history prior went ahead and confirmed it to the authorities and got themselves tested, particularly in the northern districts of Kerala, where there was a surge of coronavirus cases. The government focused on ensuring adequate testing in these areas, and that's why Kerala has the most number of tests conducted so far across the country. This was followed by a very elaborate contact tracing exercise. Any person who tested positive for coronavirus would then be spoken to by the government authorities. They'd be asked about places that they went to, about people that they interacted with, anyone who they came in contact with. The government then had a very clear mechanism put in place to identify all of these people, bring them in and ensure that they too were tested. Another step that the government took was in ensuring quarantine facilities. What the Kerala government noticed was that 14 days wasn't enough. Yes, the norm at this point is two weeks of isolation, two weeks of quarantine. But the Kerala government realized that in asymptomatic patients, some of them showed symptoms even after 14 days. So then they ensured that the quarantine period was also extended. They also provided facilities. These were shelters that were put up to ensure the people who were quarantined did not come in contact with any other locals in the state of Kerala. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the migrant labourers' plight during this lockdown across the country. In Kerala, that issue too was addressed because the Pinarayi Vijayan government had announced a lockdown much before in the state, which meant that movement was largely restricted. Immediately, they ensured that migrant labourers were taken care of. They ensured that shelters were put up for these labourers so they would have no reason or find any reason to really leave their homes and flee to other states. So these were steps that the Kerala government took. Now this coupled with the fact that there were several NGOs, several groups and organizations that came together, joined hands and provided facilities to the poor and needy ensured that every part and every person in the state of Kerala was taken care of. These NGOs played a huge role in ensuring adequate distribution of food to the poor and the needy, particularly during the lockdown. Now all of these steps combined has ensured that Kerala has been very successful in tackling the coronavirus crisis and that's why you also see that the number of cases has dropped by 30% in the first week of April when you compare it to the last week of March. It took just about six days for the number of cases to rise from 200 to 300. That's a rise of 100 cases in six days. And after that, the government has been successful in ensuring that the cases drastically come down. And that's why it's been just about 75 cases since then. So in about uh, 12 days, 75 cases have been reported in Kerala. And that also shows you how successful they have been in ensuring that the crisis of COVID-19 doesn't really deter them in any way. What's also interesting to note is that there's been a 52% increase in, in fact, the recoveries of COVID-19 patients in the state of Kerala. And that's the highest in any state in the country. So all of these accomplishments have been credited to the Pinarayi Vijayan government. And this is now popularly being termed as the Kerala
Kerala model, which many are talking about and perhaps also talking about replicating it on a larger scale and nationwide as well. Now, countries like the United States and the United Kingdom are in worse shape. But the reason India is worrying is because of the population density. And once this crisis goes out of hand, it will struggle to really contain the spread of coronavirus. And that's where perhaps the Kerala model can also be emulated in ensuring that the spread of coronavirus is immediately arrested across the country.